Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to normalize timelines. Let's say you have another, you have a couple of projects, they start at different times and you want to know how they're doing in the second month or the third month across the life cycle. So in this example, we're going to, this is will be stores, bring the order date over, change that to month, bring over the sales, and then bring over the store, and you can see what I'm talking about, the color. So each of these stores have different start times, and so it's a little bit hard to compare the different projects. So what we want to do is we want to have them all start at the same point. So let's come over here. We're going to have the store. We're going to have the order date. I'm going to show that by month. I have to show that discrete. All right, so now we're going to create a formula. We want this to be month opened. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a fixed expression based off the store that calculates the minimum or the earliest order date. Now, it gets a little bit tricky here. We're going to do month, which would, is what you would think, because order date by itself includes the day of the week, you know, July 1st or July 7th. And so we want the month of the order date. And Okay, so what, we're, what we've run into here is this is going to be a number. And what we actually want, let's duplicate this. What we actually want to show this as is we want to use month will return integer. What we want to use is date truncate. This leaves it as a date, what part of the date we want. This leaves it as a date. Click OK. And you can see up here, month open copy, it's the date. So we're going to pull that over here, change that to month, change that to discrete. All right, so now we've got, for each of these items, we've got the month that it was open. We've got Apple, Big Apple. Down here, it changes to March, and down here, October. Now we just want to calculate the difference between the month it was opened and the month of the order. So months open, and we're just going to use a date um, difference. And we're going to type in month again, because that's the, we want to know how many months the data was open. Month open copy, remember that. And uh, order date. So I'll hit OK. And you can see here, you've got 0, 1, 3. That, that isn't quite right. And the reason is... If you remember, order date has, um, well, this has different orders in March. And so rather than the sum, we want to show the average. And so that gives you more of what you're expecting, one, two, three, four, all the way down. Now, the other thing, well, we'll show you real quick. We're going to create a new graph. Months open. Month opened. Okay, months open. That's the one we want. Remember, we wanted to change that to average. And then we want to bring over the profit. And it gives us a scatter plot. If you remember, coming over here to the show me, a scatter plot is for two to four measures in zero dimensions. So what we want to do, close that down. And for a timeline, we need... Um, at least a date or a dimension. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this, come up here, convert to a dimension. All right, so now it's up there. So if we get rid of that and bring months open under dimension, we can change this to a line, bring the store over to color, and now you've got all three stores on the same timeline and you can compare them. There you go. Enjoy.